Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com, and in this hard-hitting investigative video, we are going to look at Discover Card's many design choices, and we're going to decide which ones are the best and which ones are only meh. I will tell you my choices, you tell me yours, but first, you should subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already, and if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So my Discover Card, getting a little frayed around the edges, and so I was thinking that I needed to replace this, or at least... I could replace it. I suppose I could live with it as it is. But anyway, I decided to go look at the Discover Card choices. And what I realized is that not only are there many, many choices if you are a Discover Card holder, but you can also choose to have up to four different designs on the same account. So if you wanted to, you could have four different Discover Cards, use a different one on Sunday, a different one on Tuesday, a different one on Thursday, etc. So when you uh, go to apply for a Discover Card the first time, if you do it online, they're going to show you 25 design choices right off the bat. And that's a lot of choices right there to begin with. So you choose one of those and then if you're approved, you're going to get that. But once you actually are approved for a Discover Card and you have your online account set up, you could go online and you could choose from over 100 choices to, again, either add a card and have more than one design that you hold or replace the card you have with a different one. So in this video, we're going to take a look at those 100 plus choices, not each one of them individually, but kind of look at what is out there. And then I am going to tell you kind of what my top five, six, seven cards are if I were to hold those four cards. And then, of course, I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Discover breaks your choices up into different categories, the first being art and botanicals, which means you've got some flower photography, you've got some nature photography, you have some artworks. My personal candidates in this section probably would be the uh, Surat Sunday Afternoon painting and the uh, Shamrocks, but if you are a flower lover in particular, plenty to choose from here. The next category is Braille, and there's only one card under Braille, but the fact that there's any cards at all is something that Discover should be applauded for. Personally, I'm not going to make, make this one of my choices, but if it would make sense for you, then obviously it is good that that choice exists at all. The next section is entitled Graphics, and I would guess that all of these are probably popular. You've got a couple throwbacks in the boombox and the uh, cassette tape. You've got uh, space. Everyone loves space. You've got water on the beach with a sunset. Everyone loves that as well. The uh, vinyl record. A lot of good stuff going on here, but all of these are popular. The next section is monogram cards, and I have to be honest here and say I've never really understood the attraction of monogrammed items. So for me, these don't hold much attraction. I don't really care about having my initials on a credit card, and I actually think these credit cards look a little like kind of, they're like retail store cards. They kind of look like the Victoria's Secret credit cards, so I'm not into these at all. Next section, NHL National Hockey League logo cards. I don't have a National Hockey League team in my city, so I don't really pay a whole lot of attention. I'm not a huge hockey fan in general, but I have to say I think that the NHL might have the best logos of any of the major professional sports leagues in the country. Just a lot of them that I really like, but I'm not going to get them on my credit card. But anyway, if you have an NHL team in your city or you just love hockey and you have a favorite NHL team, then obviously one of these choices might be attractive to you. Next up is pets. If you have a favorite dog breed or a favorite cat breed, well, then you could get one of these pictures on your Discover card of that breed. As far as I can tell, you can't get your own personal pet on there, but if you have the favorite breed, then you could do that. So I've always had mutts uh, as far as dogs go and as far as cats go, I guess, because I don't really know a whole lot about cat breeds. But anyway, looking just on the uh, aesthetics of these cards, as I look at them, the ones that I enjoyed, the look of the boxer, the pug, the Frenchie with the sunglasses is kind of fun. And then the Scottish Fold Cat is a pretty cool looking cat. And I assume those folded over ears are why it's called a Scottish Fold, which is all completely new to me. I've never heard of those before. Next section, representation. I like the Golden Africa and the Silhouettes card as well. I don't think uh, middle-aged white guys are really the target for these cards, but they're pretty cool. Next up, sports and hobbies. I would guess that these are all somewhat popular, especially for people that are participants in these sports. I could see that fly fishing, the sailing, uh, the golf being very popular, but really any of them. For me personally, none of them really fit something that I would want on my credit card, but they're all pretty cool. Next up, standard design, starting with the US flag design, which is probably popular with you unless you hate freedom. 
And then there is the uh, old Discover Card logo design, a little retro look there. Then we've got all the different colors. Uh, I kind of like that ruby red color down there near the bottom. And then this, what they call gold, looks more like just beige to me. Sort of so ugly, it's kind of good looking in a way. So I kind of uh, like that one. And then you also have the pride one down here with the uh, rainbow colors naturally. So a lot of interesting ones here as well. Next section is wildlife. Now, I am a big fan of wild and I don't know if I'm a big fan of wild animals, but anyway, I like wild animals, like thinking about them doing their wild things all in all the uh, corners of the world. But anyway, having them on my credit card, I don't know if I'm really into. Maybe it's because I've seen so much wildlife photography over the course of my life that even when it's really cool wildlife photography, it still kind of reminds me of like a 1970s poster or something, and I don't necessarily want it on my credit card. But I will not judge you if you like jumping dolphins on your credit card. And then finally, we have world views where you could get the skyline of major U.S. cities like New York, Chicago, D.C., San Francisco, or you could get a country flag as the design on your Discover card like Italy, Ireland, even Spain, which seems like sort of an unlikely choice. I know we have a lot of Spanish-speaking people in the U.S., but I don't know how many of them are actually from Spain, so I don't know how many people are picking that. But anyway, a lot of choices here if you are someone that uh, loves the look of the skyline on your card or you're an internationalist. All right, so those are all of the choices. And as I said earlier, you could get up to four different Discover card designs. So when I look at those choices, I know what my top three would be, but the fourth design, if I had to choose one, is a little more of a toss-up. So in that fourth position, the one that I would be, uh, you know, sort of choosing from a bunch of them, the ones that were be, would be sort of on the bubble, but possibly would be that uh, boxer, the uh, Scottish fold, and then a couple of those Discover colors, the gold one, which is more like beige, like I said, kind of so ugly it might be attractive, the uh, ruby red color, and and then that sunset on the beach, a little cheesy maybe, but still it might make the cut. And then let's count down those final three. In the third position would be the classic Discover logo card going old school. I like the looks of that one. Number two, the Surat Sunday afternoon painting, one that I've always appreciated and would like to see on my Discover card. And then number one, the boombox. So that boombox card on its way, I've already put in the request and it should be here in, I can't remember how many business days, but I will show it to you. Maybe I'll do a little short when it comes just to show it to you real quick. Now, I did ask them since I got that boombox design if it was possible to personalize that a little further and have the name say LL Cool Jusco and they said that that was something that was not available to me. But anyway, having that boombox card, I don't use my Discover card very often, but I could imagine that maybe I would pull it out every once in a while even to buy something that I normally would not use the Discover card for just so I could show people that boombox design. So in the past, I've always said I'm not really into the design my credit card. I don't care what it looks like, but I have to say if I had that boombox one, maybe. So that is it. If you are rocking an alternative Discover card design right now, I'd love to hear what it is in the comments section below, or if you'd like to provide your own ranking of the top three or four best looking cards as far as you're concerned. If you are going to hold multiple Discover cards or change out the Discover card you have, love to hear that as well. Otherwise, I thank you for watching, and as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews, we talk personal finance, we talk deals, and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thanks for watching. Bye.